You have seen that one way to represent a function is with a graph. A linear function is a function whose graph is a non-vertical line or part of a non-vertical line. Problem two, representing a linear function, a photography item. The table shows the relationship between the number of photos X you take and the amount of memory Y in megabytes left on your camera's memory chip. Is the relationship a linear function? Describe the relationship using words, an equation, and a graph. So here we have the table. Number of photos X, looks like 0, 1, 2, 3, so those are increasing by 1 each time. And then the amount of memory Y remaining on the disk, 512, 509, 506, 503. So that looks to be decreasing by three megabytes each time. So let's consider what we know, the amount of memory left given the number of pictures taken as shown in the table. We need other representations that describe the relationship. So our plan, as we've already started, look for a pattern that you can describe in words to write an equation and make a graph to show the pattern. As we continue, it says the amount Y of memory left is uniquely determined by the number X of photos you take. You can see this in the table below, where each input value of X corresponds to exactly one output value of Y. So Y is a function of X. To describe the relationship, look at how Y changes for each change in X in the table below. So the memory is 512 megabytes to start with. That's before any photos are taken. The independent variable, x, increases by 1 each time. The dependent variable, y, decreases by 3 each time. x increases by 1. So in words, we can represent this relationship by saying the amount of memory left on the chip is 512 minus the quantity 3 times the number of photos taken. To write that as an equation, y equals 512 minus 3x. And then graphing it, we can use the table to make a graph. The points lie on a line, so the relationship between the number of photos taken and the amount of memory remaining is a linear function. So just remember that. If the graph forms a line, it's a linear function. Your turn. Is the relationship in the graph below a linear function? Describe the relationship using words, an equation, and a graph. And part B, a reasoning item, does the set of ordered pairs 0, 2, 1, 4, 3, 5, and 1, 8 represent a linear function? Explain.